Hi everyone, it's Lindsay, and on Instagram I'm Lindsay's Crafty Plans, and today I'm giving you a demo from my heart of Thanksgiving with pink paper peppermints. I am going to open us up in prayer, and then we will get started. So Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for bringing us all together to study your word. Please guide us and help us to learn about your strengths. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So, if you are playing the Bonanza game, or we are playing the Bonanza game, I should say, we are on, my video is going to be box 10, and I will give you that at the end. And I wanted to give a little bit about week three, is our strength. Philippians 4.13, and the hymn is Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. And I actually, I have a hymn book, and I thought this would be a good time to show you my little bread box that I thought I'd use for this. And it's got a little shelf up here, so I put some stuff up there that I might need. And then it comes down like this. And I have all my stuff in there. So I thought I'd show you. I got this at Goodwill. I was going to do some hymnal journaling, but I, I thought about tearing out the pages and copying it. Then I still have it in the book. So that's what I did for Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. We're going to take this stuff out that I need and put this back so I don't have to. Now we're going to move the camera. Sorry for moving the camera. We're going to move it back. And there we go. So now I'm going to read the rest of our strength. I can do all things through him who strengthens me, which is Philippians 4.13. And I used the Blue Letter Bible to show us that strength occurs in the Bible, in the English Standard Version, 163 times. So, that's a lot. But we need to trust God and thank him in everything that we do. And then I also used another app, the Bible Hub app. They're free apps that you can get through the App Store or the Google Play Store. And the defi Strong's definition for strength is strong or might. So he gives us power to do things. When you feel like you can't do something, turn to Jesus. Pray to him and ask him for strength. Just like Philippians 4.13 says. He will give us the strength and the power to do what we need to do if we're having trouble. And we should always be turning to him because he's the one that gave us life. So what we're going to be making is this little folder. We're not making the folder. I will show you. This is the folder that came in the November Secret Place Journal. The, and I cut it all out. And what we're going to be making is these little pockets. So you can have more journaling spots. And I actually put the, oh, I did want to give another verse. Psalm 28, 7, which is this one, is the Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I give thanks to him. So God protects us and this is where we need to thank him for everything that we do. Because he is the person who is there for us. So, we're going to be making this. And this is my paper bag book. And all I did to put this in is put a little rubber band here. And I'll show you. So we're going to get this out of the way. And put this here. I'll put that there. So this is that. And I've already cut it out. I put don't glue yet because... You don't want to glue. You want to cut it out. And let's get that out of the way now. You want to cut it out. And then you want to score. Or you can just fold. I scored mine with my little score on my paper cutter. So they fold nice. And then what I did is I measured around here. And I've already measured. And what I a little tip... Because I have a hard time remembering what side I already cut on my paper. So I write the measurements on the back of the page. And I keep this for reference. 
So this is the size that we want for here. So what I did is this side is three and three fourths, and then this is four and 13 sixteenths. It's three lines before the five, and that's the only way I can remember. So I'm gonna get my paper trimmer, because I'm actually going to cut. And to make these pockets, we want to use the pattern paper. I know a lot of people don't know what to do with the pattern paper. So we're going to make little pockets. And these are one of my favorites. These are from the My Heart of Thanksgiving kit. So, but I love these ones. The pink calico, the orange, the yellow. And I did cut these down. When you print them, they're eight and a half by 11. And then that one's neat too. And we are gonna use, I'm actually gonna do two colors. So I kinda like to change it, not change it. I like to match the colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I wanna kinda bring out that red. So we're gonna take the red and the yellow and we're gonna make the pockets. So, get my little handy cheat sheet, I guess you could call it, <laughs> and we're going to cut, so we're going to cut one side to three and three-fourths, and then turn it, and this one is four and three-sixteenths, and that's about right. Okay, there's the one, and then we're going to get the, I think I said a red, we're going to get the red piece, Ooh, sorry, three and three fourths, and four and three sixteenths. I'm always really careful at how I cut. There we go. Now, let's get this out of the way. We don't need that. Now I've got my corner puncher. And I love this one because it has three different sizes. I take the 7 millimeter. There's 7 millimeter, 4 millimeter, and 10 millimeter. I take the 7 and I flip it over. This is my little trick with the corner rounder because you can see it. Let's see. You can see where it punches. Just punch. And I thought about only punching the top corners, but it's actually going to be better if we punch the all the corners. It just looks nicer. I mean, you're not going to see you're not going to see it down here. See, cuz you're going to fold this up. But so there's one. And then we're going to corner punch these ones. And there we go. Whoops. That one didn't turn out right. So we just punch it again and it works. So, and I always make a mess. And so there's the two. And then you don't have to do this part because it's going to look good either way. Maybe I'll do both. I'll do both ways and show you. So one of them I'm going to leave plain. And then this one, what I like to do, I always turn everything upside down. This is a one and three fourths punch, but you can use any circle punch and we're just going to cut the very top and you could probably even do it with scissors as well. And then it makes that little notch and I can show you in mine too that it makes this little notch and then it's easy to pull things out. But this was already sticking up anyway, but if you have stuff that wants to, you want to put lower, then this notch is nice. So we'll do it both ways and see how it works. So now we're going to take some glue and you only want to glue three sides. You're going to glue the two sides and then the bottom. You want to leave the top side open. So we're going to do that. And I have to get my little thing to open my glue because my glue dried because I had it open too long. There we go. And we're going 
gonna glue just three sides and the corner corner rounding actually makes it nice because you can kind of just round it so I glue it I'm using barely art glue you can it's to me I think it's the same as the glitter art glue so and I always keep I say that and now I don't have it. I always keep paper towel because I don't like to get glue everywhere. And then you're gonna glue it down. Kind of center it. It doesn't really, and then I take my paper towel and I actually go like this. And then it gets the glue off the sides as well. Cause it does. And then we're gonna glue this other one. Now when you have your punch there, you know not to glue that side. We glue this side. There we go. And then, and it covers up my don't glue yet. <laughs> I had to write that so I didn't glue it. And you want to make sure that you don't cross this middle line. If you need to draw a line there, you can. And I meant to do this. You can also have on the back so you have another pattern you can print on the back you can print double-sided if you want but for this one I wanted it to be clean so I didn't want to see I got that off just a little bit and then I love how Melissa does her folders because they are so easy to put together so you take this little tab and you put glue here and see I got glue there so I'm gonna do that and then you fold this up and I'm actually, I like to do that. And then we're going to glue here as well. And then we're going to fold up. And take my paper towel and do that. And I actually, it will still work out. So, and then we're going to take our corner rounder again. And round the, uh, the corners. If you like this look, then it's good. It's, now, I do like this better. I like the the notch at the top. But you don't have to do the notch. See, this is the not notch. You can not notch. <laughs> That's funny. Um, It works well, too. You still got the pocket, and that works. So we're going to corner, I'm going to corner around mine. And I'm going to take my 7 millimeters so it all matches. And it doesn't hurt. It shouldn't hurt. Oh, and that's why I like to corner round. Yep. Oh, there we go. Corner round. Whoops. And I'm not going to be able to corner round this because it's too thick now. But that's okay. I wanted to... I love... Oh, actually, I can corner round when it's open. There we go. So, and then... If you're putting it into, if you're putting it into like a traveler's notebook, then you have, you put it through your string, and then those notches, because you corner rounded it, it doesn't, let's get that straight, there, it won't buy, it won't hurt your, or bend your paper. So you got that. And then there you go. You've got your pockets here, and let's take this back out, because I can show you better. So you've got your pockets, get some of this out of the way. <laughs> you got your pockets here, and then you've got your pockets here, and you can just take tags, or you got pockets here. This is the one we just made. Let me put this through, and there you have it. You've got hidden pockets, so you've got more. And on, really, you could do another pocket here, just like that. Another pocket here. You'd have more, even more pockets. I love pockets. I'll even, I don't know, I don't remember if I showed you when I had my book open. I have a pocket here, too. I made a little pocket there, so I can put, you can put hidden journaling, hidden prayers. Yeah, I love pockets. As you can see, my... My little paper bag book has pockets all over. And I'm still working on that too. So, so there's our pockets. 
And I will give you, oh, the Bonanza letter. Where did I put my little, I put, I had, oh, <laughs> I had it out too. Oh, there, nope, that's not it. I had the Bonanza letter. Well, I'll just write it on here. The Bonanza letter for square 10 is A. A. Bonanza letter is A. So make sure you write the Bonanza letter down so you can have more of that message on there. And I thought I'd show you the... This is the freebie that will be in the comments that you can get. And I thought I would show you what it looks like. It's just a little folder. I did cut there. So, um, but yep, yeah, that's my, my little trick to have more journaling space. And I'm going to close us in prayer. And we can go about our night because this video will be premiered at night. So, Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful fellowship that we have had together and that we, what we learned about strength. Please be with us all tonight as we go about the rest of our day. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Well, I hope you learned something and that you can, that I explained it easily. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you have a great night and talk soon. Bye.